my parents house to drop off Winnie if you can see her ties in the way Winnie I'm just gonna <laughs> stay out of this entire shot I'll just be over here in the corner just so, crying on the window basically <laughs> <Come on, babe. laughs> so tomorrow is my sister Mandy's birthday so we're all going down to Toronto to celebrate with her we're dropping off Winnie tonight which is a Friday night so my mom can keep her for two days and she loves going to Nini's house, so it's gonna be fun for her. And we are also going to the mall because Ty broke his wedding ring. I think more so the wedding ring broke itself because I don't think I'm that strong. I cannot believe all the bad luck we have surrounding the wedding. Why? Like. Literally every two seconds, we have a new story for you guys. Shooting at the Airbnb, bridal store being driven into by a truck, groomsmen outfits, the whatever, bankruptcy, they lost their outfits. What else? The wedding ring is broken now? And not only has he broken the wedding ring, well, it broke itself, but he's also allergic to it. Yeah, apparently. Probably guys can't even see it in this darkness that we're in right now. He took a brighter picture of it. The area where he wears the ring, it's all red and like rashed. Rashed and it's like a little crusty. It's not very fun. So you're allergic and it's broken. <laughs> so we're heading to the mall to try and see if they'll give us a refund and see if we can exchange it for a different ring. But we can't find our paperwork, so. I'm pretty sure your parents have it. I hope so. And they'll have you in the system, so. Hopefully. Hopefully. Every single time I go there, they seem to just keep increasing amounts on certain things. So I don't know what's going on. But like all of this craziness is just mind blowing to me. So we're gonna go and try and fix the problem and hopefully the next ring you won't be allergic to. Because what's the material that you have right now? The ring I have is made of tungsten. And I looked up tungsten allergies and most people don't have the allergy to tungsten itself. It's the nickel that they use in the process of making it. Yeah. That people tend to react to. And this is something I wouldn't really know if I was allergic to nickel or not. Yeah, we have nickels, like our little five cent coins in Canada, but it's not like I have it on my hand for, you know, 16 hours straight. Yeah. So I'm thinking it might be that. I can wear silver, no problem. I can wear stainless steel, no problem. I know in my family, my grandmother at least, she has to wear pure metals. Yeah. Or else she gets the same thing. She rashes up, it's not very fun. I'm thinking it's probably the nickel in the tungsten that is causing all the issues. It's kind of sad because I really like the ring and I like the style of it. It's very robotic looking. It is really cool and it's sad because that was the ring that we had at the actual wedding ceremony which you would hope you'd have your entire life. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a meaningful ring and now I it's broken. I just need to do the same thing that my dad does. He my lost dad his ring. had a wedding ring for countless years. I think 20 some years. He lost it throwing apples at my old property because we had apple trees and we had horses. Horses can have apples, they just can't have a lot. It also attracts wasps and all that stuff. So all in all, it's not a good time. So we were throwing apples over the fence and he lost his ring. My grandmother came, brought a metal detector, but of course a metal detector doesn't detect gold. So we couldn't find it. He bought another ring, really nice. One that was actually like monetary wise, a lot more valuable than the one he had. Lost it like two months later. So now he has one from Walmart. <laughs> I, mean, I might have to just start doing that. At just the end I'll of wear the day, my Walmart rings. It's the meaning. It's not the actual like ring itself and how much it is. It's about what it means to you. So we're gonna go in and change the material. I mean we can get like white gold or sterling silver. How about I get a wooden ring? Not a wooden wooden ring. That's definitely gonna break. My wooden wedding wing. <laughs> but the thing with sterling silver is that it scratches really easily. So I don't know. We'll ask the lady and see what she says. But basically we're gonna go there, get his new ring, or try to at least, we'll see what the lady says. And then I'm gonna go to dinner with my friend because I'm celebrating her birthday and while I'm having dinner Ty's gonna go Christmas shopping by himself all by myself by yourself <sighs> so good luck with that I'll cry the whole time and it's probably getting super dark so we're gonna say bye for now and we're gonna go hand off Winnie to Nini can I get a ring pop instead 
No. Yeah, it just gets all moldy and everything. And eat it. Yeah. Get moldy. Anyways, um, we'll see you when it's not so dark. Okay. I need to do this a lot. Let me try this. You can do it, Jess. Come I can on. Do it. I can find it. You lie. You said it's right here and it's not. It is right there. Where? Really? It's not. Yeah. I don't know. Pass me your bed. finger. <laughs> right here. We're here, we? Long way, sweetie. This way, this way, this way. There you go. <laughs> like, where am I? <laughs> We're going to Nini's house. Check it off. Let's go to Nini's house. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Got a tree of the wedding. <laughs> On her front. You might have to put the key in. She's so anxious. There's no keyhole to put it in. Oh. We're okay. Hello! <laughs> Yes, hi, baby. It's Nini time. Yes. <laughs> My baby. I'll come and see her before she moves oh. upstairs. Dozer. Go. Dozer's waiting behind the bars. Are you in jail? He's never acknowledged me. He always just stays lying up Where there. Where do you go? Who knows? Oh, she like Dozer's made soul. herself comfortable. Get ready. She's going to run up the stairs any second. We're just Dozer, We're come see Dozer me. Okay. Oh, poor Dozer. <laughs> He's like. Here she comes. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm going to see uh, Daddy Me. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You see shadows. <laughs> Dad, yeah. we have a question. So we're going to the mall to get Ty's ring changed. Yes. Do you have the paperwork? No. You guys had there the rings. Was, you had the bags though. Remember for the wedding, you guys had the bag and the paperwork and the rings. Okay. Where's yeah. that? Um, Mom? I mean, that would have been in bags that went to the wedding. Oh. Yeah. I have no idea. Would they have us on file? Yeah. Hopefully. You have the big boxes that you took those out. Those went back. Said, we yeah. want, I want to save those. Yeah, back. they went back to Jess's. So they're with you in the, the little boxes that they came in. Well, we don't. I don't. Sent to your I don't know where it is. So hopefully we're on the file anyway. No, it's in the boxes we gave you. Yeah, but we don't. Well, now we're, we can't get them now. They're in your front It's too hallway. late now. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Mom's all decorated for Christmas. <laughs> And that wasn't even a swear word. That's no, that's actual. just an observation. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's actually Jesus. 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 Is he still wrapped in paper towel? Uh, he's wrapped in paper towel because he Andy lost. took his swaddling clothes away. As a kid? Yes. We couldn't find them. So that's uh, paper towel. That's okay. He's warm. Swaddling paper towels. He's warm. At least he's absorbent. He's absorbent. Yes. Yeah. Very good. He's warm-ish and happy. Very good. Yes. Okay. We do the best we can. Very good. Okay. Well, thanks for babysitting, Winnie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for taking her for three days. For what? Three days. No. Yeah. Until Sunday. No. Yeah. <laughs> when is she going home? Sunday. Okay. It's two days. Two nights and three days. Two nights and a little and bit. And three days. Mom's happy about it. I love Winnie. Don't get me wrong. I really do. <laughs> she runs yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> I love like, I have my name. Don't get me wrong. Who needs me right now? She can be a little overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. At, at times. Yeah. I love Winnie very much, yes. <laughs> She's my grand doggy. Grand doggy. Okay. Yes, grand Anyways, doggy. We're going to the mall now to get Ty's ring hopefully changed. We'll we don't have paperwork, so. We're going to find out. Yes. Without paperwork. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we don't know we'll, what's going to happen. We'll find out very soon. So. All right, so we just got out of the ring store. It's a bit frustrating because we were telling her our issues and how, like, Ty is clearly allergic to it. And she was kind of not believing us. She's like, well, his ring's probably too tight. And we're like, no, he's worn tighter rings. And, like, usually if you wear a tight ring, you take it off and, like, the mark goes away within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. He's had the ring off for a week now and there's still a huge, like, mark around his finger. So every time we were trying to explain it, she was like, no. It's probably not that he's allergic, and we're like, it is. <laughs> so it was really frustrating that she wasn't well, really listening the other to us. The that I've been wearing for probably about three months now. Yeah. It's smaller. It yeah. sits tighter, and I wore it for longer. Anyways, what we have to do is go back on Monday because their manager's in on Monday, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back here, but it's okay. They said they're gonna try and fix the problem, which I hope they do, but right now, we're just heading to meet my friend. Everyone's staring at us vlogging. Very awkward. Why is this not socially acceptable yet? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna look for my friend Shivani. So we just went into the store and we can't find her probably because she's in the change room. But what's really frustrating, you guys remember, like three weeks ago we did a Forever 21 vlog because it was closing. And everywhere it said like, what was it, October 8th or 14th? Sometime in the beginning of October they said it's gonna be closed. Well, here we are, November 15th. And, What's that right there? Uh, it's still open. And guess what, everything I bought and did that haul for three weeks ago, 
50% off more. Well, the sign's right behind you, look. Yeah, so. 50 to 70. We were like walking through there and everything that I bought, they're like $20 cheaper each piece. And I'm like, yeah. I should have waited. False advertising. It's how it goes. False it says apparently now it's the final 14 days, Jess. But they said that before. Watch, they're gonna be open in January. Everything's gonna be $1. <laughs> Watch, I'm calling it now. Well, m more than half the store is empty now. We have a few pictures in there that we can put up just to show that everything is 50% off, but like seriously. Yeah. They're really milking this bankruptcy a little. And I can't find my friend. She's in there somewhere. We're looking for a short girl and they're all short girls in there, so. With black hair. Yeah. <laughs> so she's hard to find right now. I was the only one in there that had blonde hair. Even I have like pretty much black hair, so. It'd be easy to find me in that store in there. Because you also like are so tall. Yeah, I'm like tower. a beacon of pasty. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with the ring situation. She was like not having it. She's like, he's not allergic. He's actually not allergic. And I'm like, how do you know? I didn't mean to be argumentative, but I, I told her, I'm like, but you don't know. Like he could be. That's how it happens. So frustrating. Why do we always have this problem? Anyway, so Shivani should hopefully be coming hopefully, out soon. Hopefully, I haven't got a text from her. She's probably in the middle of changing, so. She's swimming in the deals, Jess. She's, I mean, might as well, right? Yeah. Are you gonna go in there and start buying stuff, or are you too mad? It was tempting, but I'm really mad, so I'm not giving them any more of my money. <laughs> Close down, I don't care. Anyway. Okay. So cruel. Bye for now. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. So we're back home now. It's the next day. And at the moment, nothing is resolved, but we're going back to the ring store on Monday. So we're gonna see, we're gonna update you guys. But right now we're about to go to Mandy's party in Toronto. It's her birthday, her 23rd birthday. So we're gonna vlog that and we'll show you guys what we do. We're gonna pick up our friends on the way. So gonna be fun, but yeah, that's uh, basically all we have to show you for now because Today we really Kai's haven't been allergic. doing anything. Yeah, they have just been sitting. Yeah, so as, as you said, I'm not allergic apparently. Yeah. It's too tight, even though she fit me for the ring. It was too tight. Uh, this definitely looks like it was too tight, you know. Totally. All crusty and scabby and very itchy. Just too tight. Don't make sense. Anyway, I'm so tired right now. I don't know how I'm going to function in Toronto partying, we're both, but... We're both very tired. It's, yeah. We had a long night last night. <laughs> Do we have any red lipstick? You're wearing tons of it. No, I mean on my, on my teeth. No, you're good. Do I have any? Yeah, all over your teeth. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you in our next vlog for Mandy's birthday. See you guys.